Um, it is half class seven. Uh, I am nothing. Uh, almost time thirty. Mm, time be my myself. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to need another birthday for another twenty years. <laughs> Emma Sullivan turned 18 today and received more than 13,000 birthday cards from around the world thanks to her dad. He put the call out for well wishes on Facebook and the response from around the world was incredible. Mountains of cards, presents and party goers reined in, poised and ready for Hannah's unforgettable 18th. A simple Facebook post a month ago led to an avalanche of love. Hannah turned up late one night on a Thursday and uh, we were expecting a regular child and about 20 minutes after Hannah was born uh, she was established in a special care unit and we weren't sure whether she was going to make it through the night. So the registrar of the hospital told us that we are fairly certain that Hannah has a critical and unstable heart condition and we're 95% certain that she has Down syndrome and that may come as a shock. It's different growing up with Hannah. Uh, she's just so loving and nice and just sometimes out of the blue she can just, you know, come up and just wants to give you a hug or whatever like that, which is really, really quite nice. It's been interesting. She's certainly grown, grown a lot, not in height, unfortunately. She uh, still needs a bit of work on that front, but it's been good. I, I've enjoyed it a lot. I think the early experience of school was great. So, you know, she did a couple of years of preschool and then she started at year one and it was probably year four, I think, that we noticed that there was a bigger separation. I mean, obviously there was always a gap, but by the time she got to year four, that was when, you know, the invitations to the birthday party stopped the typical inclusion would stop in that space and uh, she loved school and she had friends at school but there was that separation that began. I don't think it's intentional, uh, people just kind of almost forget. It wasn't like they didn't like Hannah, it was just quite often they didn't know how to include her. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. Um sad, uh, I guess. You know, it's at school it's kind of taken care of, but at home it was like, well, what do we do if Hannah comes to our place? So I think it was just, not that she was intentionally excluded, but she was not intentionally included. It would have been extra work. It was obvious that that wasn't going to change. You know, you can't change the world necessarily, but you can, one person at a time, encourage people to participate in Hannah's life. I've always liked the kind of guy who had three pieces of pebble over at the... <laughs> and another one that was looking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Three disclosed pieces. <laughs> Or maybe one or two undisclosed pieces of pepper over. <laughs> Here's a camera. I've got fish in my teeth. <laughs> uh, it was a little Sunday morning, laying in bed, going, oh, Hannah's birthday's coming up. How far away is that? In intentionally including Hannah, I honestly thought if I went to my Facebook page, maybe she would get 100, maybe 150 cards, and that would be a really nice little bonus for her on her birthday and that would bring some light into her world and give other people a chance that wouldn't necessarily think about Hannah on that day to intentionally include her by sending her a card or a note. And um, in the end, uh, it was overwhelming. <laughs> it went a little more than 150 cards. <laughs> it all started at a uh, swimming lesson that Hannah had been gone to and, you know, I took the, the photo that was the, on, on the Facebook post. Friends came for lunch on the Sunday and said, hey, I saw your post and, you know, we do these weddings and there's these little letterboxes that you could probably put Hannah's cards in. And on Monday I ordered that little letterbox so that I would have that to put the 150 cards in, which went absolutely crazy. Somehow people posted cards on Sunday. We had three in the letterbox on the Monday morning. That was exciting. I put them out on the table. I thought, oh, there's three cards. And then Tuesday, you know, there was 25 cards. On Wednesday, there was like 500 cards, 5,000 chairs. And I'm like going, I, I, could I, I couldn't take photos anymore. It, it actually honestly got to the point where it was overwhelming, physically overwhelming. How do we keep it a secret? Where do we put these cards? You know, as it started, then we realized we had to put them somewhere. We started storing them in the shed. And then over here, if you look in here, this is where we hid them all here. I was lucky enough to have this shed which had a heap of space but it had a lot more stuff in and had his birthday time. And these are the ones that we've still got left over. So there's heaps of 
presents and there's envelopes and it's kind of sad that there are express post envelopes still that were express posted over 18 months ago. That's kind of a bit awkward, but... Oh. <laughs> His nose did get caught. Um, I slice first with, with Dad and so news um, and no news. Channel 7 took us down. They gave Hannah the best time and they picked her up in a limo and they showed us around Sydney. Today's show came up here. Met the uh, weatherman, which was pretty fun. It is time for Hannah Sullivan's 18th birthday surprise, and here she comes now. I went to um, upstairs first um, with my two cousins in her judgments, Erin and Siska. I did my hair and makeup. My mum, my doctors, and dental too, and we open for Omi. That moment, I can still remember coming to get Hannah and she's got <sighs> she's got her little birthday sash on and her cousins had her looking absolutely stunning and uh, her mum helped walk her down the stairs and we got the blindfold on her now at the halfway mark and there was that moment of like going like this is just real. Oh mum, oh my eyes and when you had a prize and hug Steve Jacobs. Happy birthday, Hannah! When Stevie Jacobs got moved, <laughs> when he saw Hannah the first time, he was moved. Hannah, <laughs> these are your birthday cards. They've come from people <laughs> all around Australia and all around the world because your dad has asked people to give you a very special surprise today. I think Steve Jacobs was best. He got, got a gift for me, for the team, on the show. <laughs> That's from One Direction. <gasps> Happy birthday to you. Wow. And some of your other favourite people in the world are the Wiggles, and they have sent a very special message for you today. We're in Canada at the moment, but we <laughs> <Yeah>. wish you a big <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Emma, Lucky, and Simon, and Captain Fairsword. Um, great. Um, so I got a sword in his, his hand, and this is to, uh, to tickle the people. Happy On the day, she would keep coming up to me and she would go, oh, Dad, this is so good. Thank you, Dad. And she was so grateful to the film crews. She was so grateful to the people that came. Um, she just couldn't help but be thankful. And every time we still open cards, we're still opening cards and envelopes, we're almost there. Uh, you know, we've had a two-year birthday celebration and she will read the writing that people have put in there. And then the thing that she will articulate clearly in her language is the names of the people. Oh, from Trevor and Julie and Sam and Riley. And she goes, oh, that's so sweet of them. <laughs> and she'll close up the card and we'll hand her the next card and then she'll open it and she'll read it through. Oh, from Bill and Sue and Chris and Bob. Oh, that's so sweet of them. Like every card, which is why, you know, almost a year and a half, more than a year and a half later, we're still opening cards one at a time, gratefully every time. Look at that. And my second um, post, you know, some good job, great. Even if it was for that day, um, well, she's been in the middle of everything ever since then. You know, a lot of people know who Hannah is. And I think, and I really hope that people that know people with disabilities have gone and intentionally included them as a result of what happened that day. Yeah.